friends today we are going to read an ancient tale of a tribe. Those people started selling their goods with higher prices to get more profit. In order to fulfill the desire of earning more and more, they used to sell their goods by weighing less than its price. Allah Almighty sent Prophet Shu'ib Olahisalam to show them the right path of honesty and to prohibit them from dishonest ways of living. What happened next? Let's find in this story. The name of the story is, The Prophet Shu'ib and the Earthquake. Let's read it. Long long ago, the people of Madian and Aka settled on the Arabian coast of the Red Sea. The area, to the east of Lower Egypt, extends westwards. From the present-day Gulf of Aqaba, deep into the Sinai Peninsula, as far as the mountain of Moab, which lies to the east of the Dead Sea. The people of Madian and Aqa were at first, the followers of the Prophet Ibrahim Olahisalam. But over the next 500 years, they did the wrong things were dishonest and turned away from the true faith. Then Allah sent the Prophet Shu'ib Olahisalam to these erring people to show them the right path. He warned them to be honest in weights and measures. And not to trick others into giving away what was rightfully theirs. The Prophet Shu'ib Olahisalam reminded them of the blessings, which Allah had showered on them. Remember how he multiplied you when you were few in number. But the elders of his people rejected him, saying, Shu'ib, much of what you say, we cannot understand. We know, how weak you are in our midst. They threatened to drive him out along with his followers from their homeland. The Prophet Shu'ib Olahisalam said, I don't want to argue with you. For that would mean my doing what I forbid you to do. I am trying only to reform you as far as I am able. Nor can I succeed without Allah's help. In him, I have put my trust. And to him, I turn to say, sorry for whatever I have done wrong. His people were very aggressive. They wanted to Shu'ib Olahisalam and his people to leave the tribe. Because they didn't want to quit dishonest ways of living. His people replied that for this tribe they would have stoned him. 
My people, said Shu'ib, have you more regard for my tribe than for Allah? Dare your turn backs upon him. My Lord knows about all your actions. Do what you will, my people, and so will I. You shall know who will be punished and held up to shame, and who is lying. Wait. If you will. I too am waiting. They were punished by an earthquake, and when morning came, they were lying flat in their houses. As if those who drove away the Prophet Shu'ib Salam had never lived there. Those who treated Shu'ib Olahisalam with contempt, were themselves the losers. This story teaches us to be fair in dealing with others. Especially in weights and measures, and never to deceive people. Or do them out of their property or possessions. It teaches us always to follow the rules of honesty, trustworthiness, and truthfulness. That's the lesson of the story. The End Hope you liked the story? Please tell us in the comments. And press the button thumbs up. Now mute the audio and read the story yourself. Thank you. For more stories and informative videos.